All right, today I'm going to discuss the integration questions. I find this question is very easy, but then the student still can't solve it. And then she asked me again. So I decided to make one video to explain about these integration questions. So for this integration question, if come out, I think it's only paper one because it's about two to three mark questions only. So this question, basically you can see a X axis and Y axis, and then you will see a curve and you will see, you will see a, a vertical straight line, which is x equals to a. The curve equation is y equals to negative x squared. And then the question also tell you the shaded region, which is in the pink color here, is 18 unit square. So basically, they ask you to find a. So for this kind of question, right, it's very important that you know how to write out the integration formula. Means how are you going to insert the a into your formula? So Basically, basically, if we learn about integration before, let's say I have a curve like this. I want to find the area from A to B. So this is how we're going to write. We're going to write the area and then we'll integrate from A to B, right? From A to B. And then because the, the area is from the curve toward the x axis, so here must be dx. All right, so, and then, if here is dx, this sign must be, must be the opposite of x, which is y. If this is dy, this here must be x. All right, this is the idea. So if I write out something like this from a to b, y dx, of course y is this equation, then I actually finding this area. So you, you get the idea. So therefore, if I want to find the area for the shadow region, I will integrate it. Since here is from 0, here is from 0 up to a, isn't it? So here is 0 to a. And then this area, this area is basically from, from this area is basically from 0 to A, and then it's toward x axis, right? So here will be dx. So here will be y. Alright, of course, 0 to A, and we know the area, right? The area basically is 18, so I will plug in the 18 here. And then this area over here is from 0 to A. What is my y? dx means what? I can only start to integrate when here is in term of x. If here is in term of y, you can't do the integration. So this is negative 2x squared, dx. Alright, so, and then what I will do next is, I will add the modulus for it. Why I add the modulus for it is because this area is below the x axis. I worry later my answer might have the negative, then I will make it become the positive. But let's, let's work together, see what is the answer we get later. Alright, so then of course you will need to know how to integrate this. Uh, it's quite simple, and I hope you know how to do. Um, so if I integrate negative 2x squared, I basically get negative 2x cubed divided by 3, and then from 0 to a. Alright, so modulus here. So this one, I sub the a into here, minus I sub the 0 into here. Sub the 0 into this thing, I actually get 0. So basically, I just focus on negative 2a cubed over 3, modulus it. Okay, so because it's minus 0, you can try to sub the 0 into it, you get negative 0 equals to 18. Alright, um, over here, Modulus, if I expand the modulus, the other side will get the plus minus 18 equals to negative 2a cubed over 3. Alright, that means I have two choices here. So my negative 2a cubed over 3 will equal to positive 18 or negative 18. 2a cubed over 3. Then I quickly solve this one is like negative 9. Negative divide by this one is negative 9, negative 27 a cubed equals to negative 27, then a equals to negative 3. Alright, or I solve here, uh, it's 9, 27. Then this one, a cubed equals to 27, then a equals to 3. And then you need to go back to the diagram again. This a position over here, you should know it's the positive x value because negative, negative, uh, negative 3 is over here, which is not true according to the diagram. So therefore, automatically, I will reject this answer. I will reject the first answer. I, that means I only take the a equals to 3 here. Okay, so this is how we do these kind of questions. It's not really hard, but then you kind of need to know 
how to do. I think maybe the student find a bit confused about the modulus part. And normally when I expand the modulus, I will just add the plus minus on the other side. Because here we have unknown. If here is just a number, let's say negative two, I should sure write, write positive two. I will not do the plus minus thing. All right, so anyway, this is how we do this kind of integration questions. I hope the working here actually can make you understand. If you doesn't, if you feel any confused and, and don't understand, you can always post a, post a comment below. All right, so I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.